Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with more Call of Duty Mobile. If you guys don't know already, Free For All is back. It's gonna last for a whole week. Six days, 22 hours left. So it just started a few hours ago. And uh, if you haven't played the beta or if you haven't played in soft launch, well, some game modes are permanent and some other game modes, they rotate. They come and go. They're here for a week or sometimes just for a weekend and then they leave for a week or two and then they come back later. So it's the first time we got free for all since the start of the global launch. So we're going to play some free for all today. Uh, if you don't know where to find it, you go on when you're on the multiplayer screen at the bottom right, you can select your game mode. And usually it's here on the core game modes, but there's a second tab on top featured and there's the free for all game mode. All right. Today we will use the AKS AK74U. Uh, I did have a lot of comment on my previous video. I did a video yesterday on my top five favorite weapons. And I said top five usually is personal. It's not a weapon that I use that much, but I know it's pretty good. I also did a video on the AK-117 last week. So yeah, there's a lot of good weapons. I wanted to choose only five. So today we will play that one. Let's do this, guys. Quick note on the score streaks. When I play free for all, I really like the Stealth Chopper and the Sentry Gun because while they're active, you can keep running and get more kills because you're alone and the very high score streaks like VTOL, uh, you're not going to get to use it that much because the game's going to be pretty much over when you get it. So don't use VTOL in free for all. It's only 20 kills and then it's over. Guys, we got free for all on kill house. It's going to be a bit of a mess. This map's very small. 20 players all for themselves is going to be, oh no, it's not 20 players. It's eight players. So I'm using a new uh, four finger claw. I mean, I've been transitioning and it's very hard to get used to new controls. It's going to take you like thousands or hundreds of games to get used to. And like if you've been playing for a long time. Uh, yeah, sometimes I click on crouch instead of reload because I used to reload with, with, reload with my thumb like that. And sometimes I go with my, my finger and yeah, it's confusing, but I'm going to get used to it. Four finger claw. I'm transitioning from two thumbs to three finger claw, like two fingers on my left hand to four fingers claw now. So um, camping a little bit at the start because I like to try to get my my sentry. But yeah, like free for all, you know where they spawn. So you kind of camp the, the spawn, right? You're not gonna run around in the middle of the map because there's there's enemies every freaking where. There's a guy right there. He just died. Alright, there's a sentry gun. So here's the deal. I could try to get. Uh, there's a dude up there. There's a stealth chopper. So we're gonna go and well, first of all, use the stealth chopper. But I want to go and put my sentry in the spawn without dying. Alright. So let's go. This is going to be GG, guys. This is going to be freaking GG. I am out of ammo. Oh, I died. First death of the game. Pretty sure I use a vulture perk. But anyways, I could just run around the map and stop killing people. And my sentry and my stealth chopper, they're just going to... Do the rest of the job for real. So that's why I like these score streaks in free for all. Darn, we got the. I want to protect my sentry, but it's at the other end of the map, so there's not much I can do. Ah, oh, come on, that was so short. Well, that was a short game, guys. But yeah, free for all, guys. Some quick tips is, I mean, if you want to go and run in the middle of the map have fun but ideally on many maps i will go on one of the two sides because the spawns are kind of fixed or static people spawn at the same few spots so if you learn these these spots well just look for them and and keep going for them and you're gonna get a bunch of free kills and also there's gonna be bots in these games it's not ranked right so there's gonna be a lot of bots so you kind of want to farm bots at the start to get your score streaks and then plays them and it's pretty much gg uh nuketown one of the two houses uh in the grass behind the houses there's like two or three spawns there 
Um, what else? Uh, firing range. I like to go in the back of the map where when there's a car in some crate. It's a great spot to camp at the start. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Super short one, but yeah. Free for all is here for the week, guys. You gotta try it. If you're trying to work on your battle pass, free for all is a great game mode to farm these challenges, guys. It's so easy. There's a lot of bots still. And the cool thing about it, I did a video about that. When you farm ID dog tags for the ID events, free for all, you're not gonna get your kill stolen and you see a lot of players and they all your enemies. So you're not running around looking for kills. You're always killing. It's, it's super efficient for farming challenges. So you guys gotta try it. Once again, if you're looking for it, go to multiplayer, select your game mode at the bottom right and click on the featured tab at the top of the screen. Get the free for all game mode. So that's gonna be it guys. Have a great weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. I'll be back soon. Take care.